Sometimes before I begin my podcast, I think, okay, this is going to be a little tricky. You got to maneuver this well. There are some landmines ahead, and there are some subjects that do that. Today's one of them. Are you ready? Pastor Bob's coffee break, right ahead. Don't be a dumb sheep. Yeah, a dumb sheep. So, having a little bit of coffee this morning. I love you very much. So, my good friend James, the police chief, this is his very favorite, he and his wife. Everybody has their own favorites, this is his. And of course, we have nine blends in all, and uh, you can find it all with our our mugs, our t-shirts, our posters right here. We are metalwearefamily.com. Well, here's the question for today. Dear Pastor Bob, believe it or not, some say that we shouldn't listen to bands who disagree with us politically. They say it compromises our faith and that neither Jesus nor the apostles would get caught red-handed listening to bands with the liberal political message. What do you think about this? Now, I can see those little hairs on the back of your neck starting to stand up. You know what I'm saying? You go, okay, what's he going to say? Because I'm a Democrat, I'm a Republican, I'm a this or that. Wherever you live in the world, we all have a, a bias, um, a, a political bend, if you will. And, and I hope you do, because I think it's part of our society. But part of our faith going forward, advancing a political agenda, uh, not so much. Let's just go right away to the scripture. Colossians chapter 4 and verse Six, And here he's addressing not just politics, but everything that might be related to this and what should come out of our mouths. Look what he says. Let your speech at all times be gracious, pleasant and winsome, seasoned as it were with salt, so that you may never be at a loss to know how you ought to answer anyone who puts a question to you. And of course, the Bible also says in 1 Peter 3, you know, be ready to give a quiet and reverent answer to anyone who asks you about the hope that you have within you. So people ask you questions. They question where you're coming from. And is the political foundation where we begin to talk? No. Folks, we don't approach life from a political point of view. We approach life from a biblical point of view. And that just causes us to dig in and find out. And of course, when we do that, our politics are interpreted through the Bible as well. But so is everything in life. Because the foundation of the scripture gives us that very thing, the principles to live life with, and God's heart on things as we move forward. And politics is just one of those things. So if you're giving political answers, then you're not going to the core of where a foundation is at. You know, the Bible doesn't say, give a great answer to anyone who asks you about your politics. It says to anyone who asks you about your hope, you know, and then it, and then it says, let your speech be gracious to them, pleasant, winsome. I have never had a political discussion with somebody who disagrees with me that has been winsome and pleasant. Have you? (laughs) It just doesn't happen. Seasoned with salt so that you're never at a loss and know how you ought to answer anyone who puts a question to you. 
And when somebody asks me a political question, I always come back to the Bible first. You know, well, what, what specifically would you like to talk about? And let's approach it from a biblical point of view, because that's the answer. Otherwise, you don't get anywhere. I've never seen or heard of anyone that's been converted politically by a bumper sticker or somebody's, you know, mean uh, tweet on on X or or their um, keyboard warriors that are on Facebook or whatever. You know, we, we think, okay, I'm going to convert everybody and people aren't. They just get irritated by our personal agendas. But folks, the word of God is living and effective, the Bible said. It's sharper than any two-edged sword and it's the very thing that leads us into truth. Politics doesn't. It just doesn't. It's our opinion. We do the best we can with what we've got. Sometimes I look at politics on both sides of the aisle and at everybody that's involved and I think, where are the godly men, you know, honestly. But it isn't our savior. It isn't our focus. And it isn't the foundation that we live our lives and build our lives with. And that's important, whether it's a band or a preacher or whoever it is. You know, if you're judging them according to political bias, yeah, I don't think so. But every band ought to, ought to not be taking a political bias. They ought to be taking a scriptural foundation that explains their life in Christ, because that's what makes the difference. Folks, I hope you're having a great day. Don't forget, you are blessed. So go and be a blessing. Hello, Metal family. So I'm excited for the next Immortal Fest. Such great bands, such great people. I hope you're going to be one of them. I'll be there hosting both events this summer. Really excited to spend time with the bands and to spend time with you. Sunday at the first event on the 28th of July will be the Sanctuary Day. We're going to have a service. We're going to have our worship team. We're going to have some special guests. We're going to have a good time. And I hope that you plan to come and some surprises still to come too. So both events, 1st of July, 26 to 28, and the other the first week of September. Great bands, great time together, family time. We are metal, we are family. I hope to see you there.